Your aim is your greatest weapon in Apex Mobile. You can have the worst gun in the game and still win a fight if your aim has been crafted and perfected. So here are 5.1 ways that you can improve your aim in Apex Mobile. All of these tips are amazing, but the final one will improve your aim the most. So starting off with a major aspect of aiming, and that is your sensitivity. This is a massive topic that I will cover in another video, but in short, if your sensitivity is too high, your aim will be all over the place. Micro adjustments will become difficult, and you are going to have a tough time snapping onto enemies accurately. On the other hand, if your sensitivity is too low, you're going to have to swipe your screen more to track enemies, and this will take a lot more time. There are many sensitivity guides on YouTube, but the main thing you need to do, jump into the training grounds, play around with different scopes at different ranges, and practice your tracking, your flicks, etc., and adjust your sensitivity accordingly. This will take a bit of time, but it's so worth it because once you find your perfect sensitivity, it will feel like everything is falling into place. Now, after you find your perfect sensitivity, you aren't going to become a god right away. You still need to practice continually to improve. Now this is another topic I could make an entire video on, but here's the breakdown. Don't just jump into TDM or the practice range and start shooting around. Practice with several different weapons because you never know which weapon you'll be stuck with in an actual game. And practice your recoil control, your flicks, snipes, and tracking at various ranges. You will begin to build muscle memory for any situation in game. And this is the essence of aiming, being able to hit your shots no matter the circumstances. The third tip is crosshair placement. You need to keep your crosshair where you think your enemies will be. So when you're going around a corner, don't just aim mindlessly. You have to move your crosshair around the corner as well. In addition, you may know by now that headshots do the most damage, followed by body, arm, and thigh shots, and then legs and feet, which do the least amount of damage. In order to maximize your damage, keep your crosshair at head level. With both of these tips combined, you are effectively reducing the amount of adjusting you need to do to lock onto an enemy. For example, a common thing a lot of players do is looking at the ground while moving, which means you will have to adjust your aim a lot more compared to someone who's already aiming at head level. The fourth tip is counter aiming. This is essentially compensating for anything that can move your crosshair out of place and mess up your aim. There are two things in this game that you need to compensate for. First is recoil. Many, if not all of the guns in Apex Mobile have some sort of recoil, and this recoil can throw your aim off. It's worth learning the recoil patterns of as many guns as you can, because then you will know exactly how to counter it. For example, here's the recoil pattern of the flatline. It goes up and to the left with this sort of squiggle in the middle, which goes right and then left. So to compensate, you will need to do the complete opposite, which means you have to pull your aim down to the right, and when it comes to the squiggle, you need to pull left and then right. The second thing you need to compensate for is your own movement. In a gunfight, you don't want to stay still. You want to move around to throw off your enemy's aim, while moving around can throw off your aim even more. So you have to compensate for this. If you strafe right, pull your aim left. If you strafe left, pull your aim right. If you jump, pull your aim down a bit. And if you crouch, you're going to have to aim up a bit. It sounds like a lot, but the more you realize how you need to compensate your aim, the more you'll be able to do it without even thinking about it. And that's the level of counter-aiming you want to reach. You want to be able to subconsciously compensate your aim without giving it much thought. Now, undoubtedly, the number one way to improve your aim is not actually to improve your aim, but to improve your brain. Video games are not just a matter of how you use your hands, but how you use your mind. A lot of players, when they see an enemy, their muscles tense up, their heart rate increase, and their mind goes everywhere. This causes them to screw up their aim, shoot all over the place, move their crosshair erratically, and then what happens? They inevitably lose the fight. You need to train your brain to stay calm, cool, and collected in high intensity situations. This way, your brain will work more efficiently and your aim will be smoother. Some players are able to take this a step further and enter something called the flow state. Also known as being in the zone, it's where a player becomes fully immersed in the game and everything else just melts away and their movement and aim becomes on point. It's hard to enter the flow state, but once you do, you'll know. Now I did say there are 5.1 ways to improve your aim, and that's because the mental aspect has a second part to it. One final thing you have to remember, and I want everyone to listen very closely, you aren't going to become better overnight. It will take weeks and even months for you to really improve, and you may see other people who are leagues ahead of you, and others who seem to learn faster than you. You need to remember that your only competition is yourself, and if you can look back at your previous self and see that you've improved, then that's all that matters. Sometimes there may be periods of slow growth, where it seems like you're not improving at all. But if you're dead set on becoming better, then you need to be learning, practicing, and playing regularly. Dedication and perseverance is what separates the casuals from the pros. And this doesn't just go for video games, but pretty much everything in life, from sports to academics. Don't become demotivated. Instead, think of it as a challenge. Now, how many of you are willing to take up that challenge?